He entertained Hawaii for more than three decades. Today, Mackie Fury died in prison. He apparently committed suicide. Fury's body was found hanging inside his prison cell at Halava Correctional. Fury's body was found by inmates around a quarter to one when they returned to their cells after lunch. An internal investigation is underway. It appears Fury hanged himself with a blanket. As the medical examiner's van took Fury's body from the prison, all inmates were in lockdown, meaning they had to stay in their cells. Fury was serving 10 years for violating parole. He originally entered the system on drug charges. He was sent back to the prison after testing positive for drugs and after smashing the window of a car that belonged to his wife. Just two days ago, he asked a judge to reconsider, but was turned down. We spoke to Fury's attorney, Bill Harrison, who told us Fury appeared to be in good spirits this past week, reading the Bible a lot and preparing to appeal that judge's decision. Fury's death has stunned his family and friends. Tonight, we spoke with Gaylord Holomalia, one of the members of the group Kalapana, where Fury first gained musical fame. It made me really sad that, you know, he won't be able to, you know, you know, come back and, and join us, you know, Kalapana. I'd like for him to be remembered like how I'm going to remember him, for his music, you know, for his smile, you know, and uh, I'm sure if you've, if you've been to a, a Kalapana concert or even his solo gigs, you would have seen that smile. Seen here together in Tokyo last year, Holo Malia says Fury was a gifted singer, songwriter, and guitarist. KGMB 9's Terry Hunter has more. Problems with drugs and allegations of spouse abuse will not diminish the reality of Mackie Fury's talent, nor diminish the harmonious music he helped to create. Ironically, just two months ago, it appeared that Fury was getting control of his personal problems. I completed residential at the uh, Salvation Army Treatment Center. <clears throat> and then uh, right now I'm, I'm involved in uh, Queen's Care. And I go there five days a week in six hours a day. The last music Fury made was with singer Scott Allen. Don't laugh at me. Don't call me names. Don't get your you know, he's just a natural, and he uh, listened to my vocal tracks, and in a couple of minutes, he just laid down the, his vocal parts, and uh, I was just so amazed at how focused he really was, especially under the circumstances he was under. Allen says he had hoped that working on the record would inspire Fury to make even more use of his gifts as a musician. I will remember Mackie for being... Uh, the most inspirational singer, songwriter, and guitar player in the state of Hawaii, or maybe in the whole world. And I will remember him as being one of the most kind-hearted, genuine, and sincere musicians that was very down-to-earth that I have probably ever met. Terry Hunter, KGMB 9 News. Bryant Mackey Fury was 43 years old.